Caterpillar 938M front end loaders are used in barge unloading operations. The materials transported are hazardous, so to remove workers from the danger, Caterpillar has tasked Catlift with the redesign of a remotely enabled crane lifting mechanism for the front end loaders. Specifications for this project were as follows. It must use a mechanical device that can grasp and lift the loader safely. It must be able to be actuated remotely. It must lift a mass of 20,200 kilograms. It must fail in the lock position. It must be less than one meter in height. There must be a visual indicator to signal the locked position. And it must operate while the front loader is powered off ideally powered by the existing systems on the loader. Due to restrictions in place during the COVID-19 pandemic, the team was approved to use additive manufacturing for the prototype. Our prototype design can be broken down into five main categories. The shackle has the freedom to rotate about its cap, allowing the shackle to couple to the hook regardless of the initial orientation. The hook stands less than half a meter tall and houses all the internal components and onboard electronics. Both the shackle and the hook have been proven mathematically and by finite element analysis to be capable of supporting the weight of the CAD 938M loader. The pins are painted red to indicate that the system is locked. This simple method of indication ensures that there is no confusion in determining the system state. The linear actuator runs off the same power supply voltage as the CAT 938M. The actuator is also equipped with feedback so that the actuator is always aware of its position. If power is interrupted, the linear actuator will remain in the lock position for safety. The remote uses long-range radio signals to communicate with the system wirelessly. We incorporated a two-step unlocking safety feature to prevent accidental activation. Altogether, this made for a simplistic design, keeping the amount of components and costs low. All of the production pieces will be made of 4140 steel. Finite element analysis shows that the yield strength of the material is not surpassed under one and a half times the weight. Mathematical calculations were also performed at critical stress concentrations, like the inside curve of the hook, to correlate the FEA results and ensure accuracy. The inside curve of the hook had its highest stress concentration at about 300 megapascals, which is less than the yield strength for 4140 steel. In order to validate the prototype, we started by offsetting the shackle from the hook and then proved it could be aligned without physically touching the loop. Once the hook was aligned, the device was locked with the remote. It was then seen if it was possible to confirm the hook was locked by identifying the red pens from 50 feet away. Then a series of power failure tests were run to prove retention could be held with no power. Next, we ran tests to show the remote only worked with using a key and lock switch and ended with proving the shackle could be disengaged from the hook without physical contact. For full-scale production, our design ties into the existing system on the front-end loader, utilizing a three-way, two-position solenoid valve with a spring-extended, single-acting hydraulic cylinder. This will ensure that the system will remain in the locked position if any failure occurs. Improvements to the hook and shackle design that could be used for future projects include remotely controlling the shackle orientation for easier coupling with the hook and safety features to ensure engaged locking when the loader is lifted off the ground and to prevent actuation if the pins are obstructed.